Hi everyone, I am Avdesh God. In this video, we will be creating our first visualization. Well, let's get started. To get started, we will connect to the famous Superstore dataset. This dataset comes as a safe data source with every download of Tableau Desktop. We can see the fields coming from multiple tables such as orders, people and returns. Let's quickly navigate to the data source to see how it's connected. We can see a relationship defined on regions between the table orders and people. And in the similar fashion, a relationship on order IDs between the order and return table. We'll understand more on relationship and that too quite in detail in the upcoming sections. As of now, let's close this and get back to sheet 1. You can always reach out to show me to get to know more about on what dimension and measures are required to build a particular chart type. Like for a pie chart will require one or more dimension and one or more measures. Let's build the same. To do so, let's change the mark type to pi from the drop down available of the marks card. Now select the segment field available under dimensions and drag it over the color shelf in the marks card. Now drag the quantity field available under the measures to angle shelf as well as to the size shelf in the marks card. If you notice, the default aggregation in Tableau is sum. So that's why quantity is aggregated as sum of quantity over here. You can always change the aggregation by clicking the drop down from the required field. Let's change it to average for the time being. Let's do the same for the angle shelf as well. The pie chart now displays average of quantity per segment. Let's force this visual to fill up the entire space. You can also turn on the labels by clicking on the label shelf in the marks card and checking show mark labels. This will turn on the default labels. Let's change the labels and put segment along with quantity over the labels in this pie chart. 
To do so, using the control key, select segment and quantity and drag the same over to the label shelf. The labels will be changed accordingly and now we can see both the segment as well as the average of quantity displayed as a label in this pie chart. Let's switch back the aggregation of quantity as sum. Let's move back the aggregation to sum as average does not make much of a business sense over here. You can also alter the color of each segment by going to the color shelf and selecting edit colors. Let's select the color of the consumer segment to a shade of orange. Let's select the color of corporate segment to a shade of blue and that of the home office to maybe a shade of gray. In order to apply this, let's hit OK. You can see the updated color palette has been applied to this particular pie chart. We can also change the title of the sheet by clicking on the sheet name at the top of this particular visual. Let's enter the desired sheet name and hit OK. Well, this looks much better. Let's get to know another method to create the same pie chart using segment and sum of quantity. To do so, let's open up a new sheet. Using the control key, select segment from dimensions and quantity from measures. Now go to show me and select pie chart. Tableau will automatically plot the pie chart for you. Let's change it to occupy the entire space. Moreover, if you notice, Tableau remembers your color palette choice for various segments that you have just now selected in the previous sheet. You can also hide the card present on the right hand side if you no longer require the same. Moreover, you can also change the location of a card by simply dragging it to the desired location. Let's turn on the mark labels for this one as well by putting up the segment and sum of quantity in the label shelf. Well, this looks good. In this video, we created a first visualization. Moreover, we learned about various shelves available in the marks card as well. This completes section one. In this section, we got to know about how powerful data visualization can be when it comes to data understanding and bringing insights out of it. You can now connect to a variety of data sources, including flat file, databases over server, and even to a safe data source. You are now familiar with the Tableau interface and we created a first visualization as well.
congratulations on making this progress. In the next section, we'll learn about handling data in Tableau.